as a regulator, we do have to ensure the safety and soundness of our institutions and, and protect uh, the co customers of, of the community banks. But at the same time, we have to ensure economic development in our communities and have a partnership with our community banks to ensure that. My name is Christopher Moya. I'm the Acting Director of the New Mexico Financial Institutions Division. Here at the New Mexico FID, we oversee and regulate 15 different financial industries from state charter community banks all the way down to endowed care cemeteries. From our community banking portfolio, um, banks in their range from 63 million assets on up to 1.4 billion in assets. I would say the two uh, biggest uh, economic drivers here in the state of New Mexico would be ag and, and the energy sector. Um, we have a, a big ag sector uh, throughout the state, uh, wherever, whether it be in the eastern part or the western part, you're going to find big ranch country. On the eastern part, you're going to see a lot more of the uh, farming sector there. Um, and then the southwestern part, or southeastern part of our state, uh, we have the energy sector down the Hobbs, Lovington, uh, Carlsbad area. And then we have a big energy sector up in the northwestern part of the Farmington area. Uh, to me, community banks are, are, are the, important, uh, the important variable uh, in the economy of, of New Mexico. Uh, for the most part, we're a rural state through and through. I would, I would characterize the state as being largely rural. Um, we do have several uh, areas where it would be considered a banking desert, if not on the potential of becoming a banking desert. Um, without those community banks in that area, those individuals wouldn't have access uh, to, to that relationship banking um, that is important to small business. It is a driver to small business. It, it's what makes small business run here in New Mexico. And in these communities, as those community banks, if they're not able to thrive and survive, um, then I think the community itself would shortly after that be gone. Um, they provide those services, they provide that relationship that small businesses need in that area. Uh, without those community banks, uh, you know, access to credit for many of these individuals would be non-existent. Um, you can use remote deposit capture and, and deposit checks and, and, and uh, those types of resources anywhere, but it's really that relationship that these uh, farmers and, and ranchers really need to develop to to get their financing and their resources. And that's, that's the important part of uh, community banking in our state. My family, I come from, from the ag ranch, ranching background. Growing up, in order for us to survive as ranchers or as farmers, we needed to have our community bank there. We needed to have that relationship. Just the other day, I walked in to a uh, community bank here in our state and uh, was talking to, to the lender there. He didn't know me, he, he had never met me. Um, but it, through our conversation, he asked me if I was related to Miss Moya. I said, yes, that, that's my grandmother. Uh, he said, she's a legend in our bank. He said, personally, he didn't get to know her, um, but everybody still talks about her. And to me, that, uh, that was huge, because to me, that, that defined community banking. That is that relationship um, that you're not going to get going into a, a big national bank. Uh, for this individual to not even work there when my grandmother was a customer there, to still remember, remember the family, remember her, and, and, and uh, relate the two uh, was important to me. And I, I left that day really confident in our community banks in our state and, and that connection they have.